Hi, Water Signs. My name is Debbie, and I'm an intuitive reader. And I'm here today to give you your da your uh, monthlies uh, for August of 2021. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading. So if you are interested in a private one, all the information is down below in the description box below. Guys, before we begin, please take the time to smash that like button, share, comment down below, as well as subscribe if you haven't already. We're going to do water signs here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, starting off first for the sign of cancer. Guys, please take the time to timestamp three signs. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Let's get into this here. Sign of cancer. What do they need to know, Spirit? Please show me for the sign of cancer. Could be dealing with a twin as well as a Gemini with the lover's card here. Um, see what else we got here. What does the sign of cancer? Oh, it's been a karmic situation. This has been a tough, tough lesson. Definite more and more twin flame energy. I do feel that somebody is coming back, rushing back, I'm feeling, with that Knight of Swords. More air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, to fix things. Clarify that Wheel of Fortune. Yep, Eight of Pentacles clarified again by the, oh, hello there. Yep, Queen of Swords. Wow, a lot of air. All right, so guys, this is what I'm feeling here in regards to Cancer. I'm definitely feeling uh, somebody made a boo-boo, all right? Somebody wants to put in the work here again. They're making a choice, a decision in regards to love. Uh, Gemini energy as well as Twin Flame, like I said. Uh, somebody made an oopsie. Now, for some, not all. I do feel that there was a third party. I'm picking that up here. And they're making a whoopsie and they're correcting their whoopsie. Okay. They want to communicate again in regards to the Queen of Swords here. But I clarified the Wheel of Fortune with the Eight of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. That's regret. That's a change in regards to love as well. And I feel that they want to work on things with you. Clarify that Queen of Swords. They could have picked the other person in regards to the third party as well. I know I'm shifting, aren't I? But the Queen of Swords is known as the Cutout Queen. I feel that you have been waiting to hear from them again after a lack of communication. You see how that Nine of Pentacles waiting is waiting for that communication to restart? For them to see the light of the situation? In regards, so let's just review. Okay, because there's a few different messages. I do feel that for some, not all, there is a third party. I feel that they definitely made the wrong decision. The lover's card is a strong uh, connection between two people. It does represent a twin flame, like I said. They picked the opposing person as well. Now they're coming back. They want to apologize. They want to put work in. They do miss you. They do see the error of their ways here. They cut you out, and I feel that, they, that you have been waiting for them to resume this communication again with you to make things right again. They hear you. They feel you. They telepathically sense you okay in regards to what you want here uh, i feel that you were trying to give them healing energy and for them to make a decision to kind of man up energy and take action uh, because you do feel that connection with them you just wanted them to see the connection with you you know what i mean uh and i feel in regards to the third party they made a whoopsie they picked the wrong person and now they're communicating back to you in regards to non-third party uh, situation, I feel that somebody, yet again, made a whoopsie. You know, it's been a tough time. Somebody cut out communication. And now there's a lot of regret in regards to putting that work back into this relationship again. Somebody, regardless, third party or not, somebody made a whoopsie is what that tells me and wants to fix things and make things right again. All right. Scorpio. Oh, my. Scorpio, Scorpio. Whoa, hang on, Scorpio. Little scattered energy there. Three of Wands, Five of Wands. Ooh. All right. For the month of August, I feel that somebody is going to kind of try to their hardest to think positive. That sun is out there looking for their ship to come in in regards to a relationship that they have been battling. I do feel that it's going to be kind of a tough uh, ride for this month, okay? I, I feel that you're dealing with a twin here, Gemini energy as well, but I do feel more twinny energy. 
try to remain positive because this is the uh, the first card out. So that is the most powerful one to me. The energy of this is kind of like, don't get in your head. Don't battle over this. Uh, you know, there is going to be a decision made, I feel, in regards to love. My goodness, there is some scattered energy going on here. Whew. Wow. I'm feeling for Scorpio here that somebody either walked away from you or you're actually kind of sad in regards to uh, knowing that you have to make a decision about this relationship and just walk away. You know, I always tell people, and maybe I shouldn't, uh, but it's kind of like maybe this energy, what I'm seeing here, there's nothing wrong with giving yourself a break is what I'm feeling. There's nothing wrong with what I call taking a back seat, you know, um, giving yourself a break, enjoying your life again. Cause I feel that sometimes we forget about us. Okay. We're so, we get so focused, including myself, don't worry, uh, in regards to love and romance and a relationship here that we do feel a strong connection with. Okay. But there's times where we just need to love yourself. We need that time to make a choice to love yourself is what that says. I also feel with that queen of cups. Okay. Um, she is highly intuitive, okay, but I do feel that, you know, you kind of you kind of get this feeling that you feel that there's definitely a chance that they are going to be returning, okay, so that goes back to the three of wands, try to look positive towards this, now, I don't know why they're making me say this, but when they do return, you have that choice, you know, to accept them back, I'm really getting into this now, but time is going to lapse, meaning that once you heal yourself and love you again, when they come back, you know, you have you hold the power because the Queen of Cups is Scorpio. OK, that's your energy. That's water here. So I feel that they are going to come back. I feel that you know that they're going to come back. But I also feel in the same sense that when that time comes, you know, think about it. You know, what do you feel at that time? You know? Right now, what the energy is for August for you guys is basically saying, you know, either this person left you or you're debating these two different scenarios because it is a general. But I feel that somebody just needs a break in regards to somebody either walking away or somebody is battling because they're not putting in the effort in regards to love or love or relationship here. So you need to take that step away from this scenario, this situation here, and start loving yourself again, is what that tells me. Because your ship is out there, it is. But you have to change your energy in regards to thinking more positively instead of, that was deep. Oh, uh, don't shoot the messenger. But my dad stepped in and said, I will not let this person control my emotions. Thank you, Father. Uh, but I definitely feel that that's what's taking place here. Take that step back. Don't let this person control your emotions. You're worth way more than you know, you know. This is sad. Energy. So whomever this is for, really learn to see the truth of how much you're really worth, okay? And how much you need to love yourself. Because there are times where, like I said... We forget, we get so involved with love, we forget about ourselves. And I feel that that's what it is. And with that five of wands and the eight of swords, you know, somebody out there feels lost. But you're still there. You know what I mean? It's you. It, it's you. And and you got to love you, you know? Fofo on foo-foo over here with Mr. Lovers, okay? Uh, take that time. Ser I don't know if that made any sense. But you know what I mean. It it's time to work on you. It's time to love yourself again. I, I mean that in the most loving way possible. It was a tough message, and I do feel the sadness from somebody. But I definitely feel it's time for you to work on you, okay? And love yourself again. All right. Whew, that was tough, Scorpio. I don't know who's doing, who's going through that, but I'm going to say a prayer for you, absolutely. Pisces. Oh, I just got shivers, so somebody said, it's me. It's me. Pisces. Oh, I still got the shivers. Shivers. 
somebody I feel is thinking about you, trying to make a decision to start a new suite. Okay. Uh, I feel that there's definitely a lot of thought process to make a decision here. I clarified this two of swords with the ace of wands here. So that's showing action, a new start. A lot of fire here as well. So you could be dealing with fire sign Leo, Aries, Sag. More specifically, Aries with that fool. But somebody seriously wants to come back. Could be an apology as well, okay, with that page of pentacles. But they're willing to put in the... Uh, accept the challenge. I always say that. That's funny. I love a good challenge, uh, but some that, that's my favorite expression uh, of many. And and I feel that somebody is kind of playful, okay? Because the fool does represent the sign of Aries. Aries is the first zodiac sign. They are the babies of the group. You know, they have that fun, lighthearted, fun energy about them. They could come back a little goofy, you know, and playful with you as well. But they really do miss you, you know. And with the Ace of Wands, the Fool being Aries energy, uh, they could have a little pep in their step, meaning, you know, a little feistiness, all right, when they do return here. They're, they're being goofballs here, but I do feel that they are sincere. They can't stop thinking about you, and they want to pursue this again and apologize and continue this relationship for a new start. Interesting energy, Pisces. I love it. Absolutely love it. I love somebody fun. I love fun and funny. All right. I think we got it all. Yes, we do. All right. That's what I have for all the signs for the water signs out there. Thanks, guys, for watching. I truly appreciate it. Please take the time to, uh, to subscribe if you haven't already. You guys rock. Have a great rest of your month here, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.